Today we're discussing one of the most popular uses of Aeromarine 321 epoxy. That is applying pebble paving to concrete or pool deck or patios, driveways. Um, this is a two-step process. The first step will be to apply a prime coat to the concrete. Uh, the prime coat is a very simple uh, mix of 321 spread at about 200 square feet uh, per gallon. Got Air Marine 300 here, Air Marine 21 here. The ratio is two to one. I'm gonna start with the uh, 300. We're using one ounce graduated pumps in the 300 and the 21. So that gives us uh, one ounce per each pump. So we're gonna take two pumps of the 300 to one pump of the 21. I'm gonna double the mix. We now have four ounces of the epoxy resin, two ounces of the hardener for a two to one ratio. You can pour either into the other doesn't matter because we're going to use a second container. In your first container, scrape the sides of the container. Scrape the bottom of the container. Continue repeating this process while you're mixing the epoxy. Transfer this mix into a clean mixing container without transferring the last few drops. You don't care about that. You don't want it in the mix. Use a, using a clean container and a clean mixing stick, mix the epoxy again. Okay, we're satisfied that this is thoroughly mixed epoxy. We're going to apply the prime coat to the concrete. You can see that we're a little rich in the epoxy coating here. Uh, this is a uh, demo, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, when you're doing this, you want to ensure that you are getting 200 square feet uh, per gallon in each coat of epoxy. And we're done. So the, uh, the next step is allow this to cure overnight. Um, the, you will notice that it gets uh, tacky in about four to six hours, uh, but by tomorrow it will be uh, fully cured. Um, in the meantime, this evening, make sure that uh, your sprinklers don't turn on. Make sure that there's no rain. You do not want water to get on this uh, for the first 24 hours after it is applied. Okay, we've estimated that we need about 48 ounces of pebbles to uh, apply a, uh, a simple coating to the top of this uh, demo piece here today. On our website, however, we have um, charts on uh, the on coverage for both pebbles and for the epoxy. The estimates are um, uh, approximations, but they give you a good guide for approximately how much you're going to need. Uh, one thing when you buy pebbles is you want to buy more than you need and keep them, store them somewhere, because several years from now you're going to want to patch that epoxy and you'll never be able to match the, uh, the pebbles. Um, so uh, this next part is relatively simple. We mix uh, um, the uh, Air Marine 321 epoxy with the pebbles, create a type of a stucco uh, mixture, and then spread it out, trowel it out on top of the uh, concrete. Uh, I'm going to uh, now mix uh, the epoxy. When you're uh, mixing this for your project, um, you only need enough epoxy mixed epoxy to wet the uh, surface of the rocks. As I mentioned previously, I'm scraping the sides of the first container and scraping the bottom of the container while I'm mixing the resin. I'm now going to transfer that first mix to a clean container. Again, I don't care about the last few drops. Clean container, clean mixing stick. Mix again. I'm now going to transfer the uh, mixed epoxy 
in the container with the pebbles. And you'll notice that at first it looks dry. But what you'll see as you continue mixing is that um, the epoxy will coat far more than you believe, initially think. We can see a shiny gloss on the pebbles. We can see that they're all wet. They all have a coating of the epoxy on them. Okay, we're going to take our uh, epoxy and pebble mixture. So we've transferred our pebble mix to the concrete. Moves very easily, very easy to trowel. This coating is much thicker than you need. You only need a coating of one or two pebbles, enough so that you don't see the substrate underneath. Um, the uh, principal thing that you want to pay attention to when you're doing this is to watch the consistency of the final coat, to make sure that there are no pebbles uh, sporadically placed around that would be uncomfortable if you accidentally stepped on it. And that's it. Um, we let it uh, cure overnight. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we ensure that there are uh, no sprinklers on it. There's no water that comes in contact with it. It'll leave white cloudy spots on it if that occurs. And um, tomorrow we can walk on it. 48 hours from now, we can drive on it. If uh, you have uh, any questions about it, you can find more detailed information on it on our website at aeromarineproducts.com.